Probably gonna be a Zayats. There we go. Zayats techies. I'm curious to see what Zayats is capable of. It looks like they're just sending him alone in the offlane. So far, the techies has not been able to get any kills. His mine here died. These two mines exploded. And he's gonna blast off. And he denies himself. You Tom Cruise yourself. Come back with full mana. Bot line. It does indeed look like immersion swaps. BZZ tanking the arrow, but may inadvertently end up tanking a death as now immersion gets right clicked down, even with the lack of a wraith band. But it looks like Undershock may go down as well. They're all cogged up in here, and BZZ gets rooted, and the right click is not enough damage as Undershock proceeds to bottle up, connects the arrow, gonna get a star storm afterwards. Second hit, it was not in range. But, you know. Things are not that bad. Slayer gets the wraparound, blast off right into the gyrocopter's face, and Zayats is full HP so he doesn't even die. Now he's moving on ILTW as Slayer is coming in with another wraparound, gets the ensnare, gets the riptide. Does this man want to blast? He wants to blast right in the face. Six kills. This man is not even a techie Slayer. And he's gonna blow up to the mine? No! He will instead die to the right click. BZZ is like, is this worth the hookshot? It is worth the hookshot. And he's gonna bleed him, and BZZ's immediately like, I'm not following you into that side shop. But he's gonna blow up anyway. Meanwhile, top lane. This man wants to blast. Oh, man, BZZ splitting the wickets, as they say. Blasts off while stunned. Unfortunately, does not deny himself, though. Had just a sliver of HP left. And Misha and BZZ share two victory. Yeah, there you go. And now Zayats is on the run. He could blast off himself into... Yeah, there we go. All good in the hood. Misha's like, hey, this dude just took himself down to half HP. I'm sorry, I should be watching bot. Slayer goes down. Slayer's going in. They see LTW. He's all alone. Root up. Phantom rush in. Riptide as well. Into the arrow. That's how you kill a gyrocopter. Immersion is too late to the party on that one. And Phantom rush is up very soon. Zayats actually managed to kill oh, the one time. The one time. Oh, okay, he died like... coin. Slayer still has yet to use Song a single time. Can he... Nope. He gets identified instantly. Mystic Flare down. But that means that the Phantom Lancer is also dead, actually. But now Undershot comes in range so the Concussive Shot won't even hit him. Lasso comes out, grabs this DK, drags him into one mine, and then a remote mine, and then an arrow, and then this man is just hip-hopping around, tops it off with a wildly unnecessary deny, but like I said, Zayas just wants to die. Blizzy, still working on his Blink Dagger, so he went for the drum first. Gets hookshotted by virtue of the vision here. Stasis might save him, but the Clockwork Flare finishes him off. And Skyrath will be given up in return. Walking real slow. You want to check all of your footsteps. Hookshot connects. Arrow also connects, but he's getting cancelled by the battery assault, so he can't get the blast off off. Song comes out. Homing Missile connects. Now what can you do with this? Lasso. Meanwhile, Zayats manages to get the kill on the Misha, who is just walking into the fight. Lasso does not come out because the Ancient Seal is instant cast. Arrow is tanked by the Skywrath, who gets cogged in by his own team. Not even bounced out by the Flame Break. He goes down to the Riptide of Slayer, and Gyrocopter gets out by the skin. They get rooted? No. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, that hurts. It hurts. Techies' minds are exploding all over the place, and Vega's like, they are definitely... They are... Whoa! No, I missed it! But um, Mine explosion. The mine explosion and the activation as Hook comes in on the Marana. Blizzy trying to get out, trying to kill ILTW actually first, but that's not going to happen. And Phantom Lancer also wanted to get some picks. Meanwhile, Nyx gets the... <laughs> he tips the Techies after killing him. Palatimo's trying to... Come on, man! That's not going to work. Well, he gets the kill on the Phantom, I mean, on the Skyrath, but that's not gonna work. Like I said, Concussive Shot will always follow the real hero. It never falls for illusions. LTW has completed the Aghanim Scepter. Oh? 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 The name of the game is... Oh, you're so close! Keep the mine! Oh, it didn't activate in time! Sing! Sing for the moment that he gets the kill, meanwhile... Oh wait, no, never mind. He didn't die to a techies. I was gonna laugh if he once again attempted to join into a fight as techies proceeds to tip ILTW. Looking around Roche, place a sentry just to make sure that there are no mines in the air. BZZ verifies 
No mines inside. Arrow does not connect, but this still mad damage. The hookshot connects on to the chaotic offering. Undershrug leaps his way out of certain doom. He's all out of leap charges though, and the homing missile was max level, so he's stunned for a healthy period of time, even though he did not go. I, I thought for a second he may have gone for the homing missile duration talent, but it doesn't matter. He's now. Concussive shot, Rocket Flare connects, Nick's looking for the Dragon's Tail, we'll go for it on Zayats. Blast off, Remote Mine, he tosses one down, the Naga Siren goes down, they're sieging tier 3s, but that is arguably the safest place against the techies, because you know he hasn't mined here yet. And now they're kind of wondering what to do. All you gotta do is drag someone into this, oh, oh he's so tantalizingly close. Go for the Gyrocopter. Hookshot connects! The Sentry Ward spots out these two heroes. Syed goes for the blast off, but it's just not enough damage at this stage of the game, especially against this gyrocopter. Isha? Oh, this man is dead. Chaotic offering? Ah, after the doppelganger. Okay, that's fair. Keeps it near the back. Doesn't want to give Clockwork easy access to it with his gem. Unfortunately, Blizzy bounces all these creeps back, but, you know, it's more important to save the wave rather than preserve the mines. Mines go down, and as does the tier 3 tower. This experiment, while immensely satisfying by Vegas Squadron, may be coming to a conclusion very, very soon, but they haven't GG'd, and that's what I mean. Arrow does not connect. It's not the siege creep, though. So many beeps going on. ILTW getting kind of low, but he has the Aegis anyway. And this Dragon Knight is just tanky beyond all recognition. He's gone for not either of the tanky talents, so never mind, but he has a heart, so that also does quite a bit. Undershock has a homing missile coming in on him. ILTW just wants to lose his Aegis. Homing missile gonna connect on Lincoln's. ILTW gonna lose his Aegis. Meanwhile, the lasso in into the arrow into the handful of remote mines, but it's all immediately shut down by BZZ's counter initiation with the hookshot. Slayer wants to sing, but he's getting battery assaulted. Assault and battery. That's a domestic abuse from BZZ clockwork. And down goes the second Rex, but it's okay. Don't need a GG out. Techie still has buyback. Get that leap attack speed. Flame break bounces back. The clockwork. Undershot going in face first. Gets the kill on ILTW. Actually, Palantimos does. And now it's all Nyx. This man has no mana. He has no team. He has no life. And he goes down. Oh, they found someone. Oh my god, there's a huge fight going down. Misha goes down. What? ILTW is 1v4ing right now. He's up against, he's flat cannons down, his BKB is still has a few more seconds as it has the fresh cast. Slayer does not get hooked, so he does not have to sing, but he sings now to shut up the back half, but he instead goes face first into a BKB DK. Last tier 3 to be sieged, last Rax, Undershock manages to, actually no, Dragon Tail was not cast. Lincoln's is popped, Slayer does not have song, mines are blowing, DK is not Karen. Hookshot somehow manages to thread the needle. Oh, so into the gyrocopter death. Okay, I'll give you that one, but you still gotta deal with this DK. No, you don't. He's backing off. It's a fake back. He's going back in. Goes on Slayer. Where's the arrow at? Arrow connects onto the clockwork, but it's really the DK who's the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. Zayat, thinking about YOLOing for a blast off, but he's more valuable alive than dead. Is now Nick's glimmer cape, pipe aura. He is so magic resistant right now. It says 43, I don't know how accurate that is. He blasts himself off. DK almost dies. Mega Creeps are not claimed yet. Vega Squadron hold it on for dear life. Blizzy, man, I'm really disappointed at this whole trap. I'm so... Oh, poor Misha. Hey, I remember these mines. They catch a glimpse of a Batrider. The gem is on the deck because this clockwork wants to go for a steal. He wants to go for the steal. The jungle creeps are getting in the way of his oak shot. No! Oh, you fool, BZZ. Chaotic Offering comes out, manages to stymie any attempted counter initiation from his spot. 30 XP gain, 150 GPM, and then 25 mines movement speed, boy. Uh oh, Palantimos gets the kill on Misha. Hookshot comes in. Song to defend. They want to pick up that gem. They're going to cop it and peace. And they're going for the game off of killing the Batrider. This is a bit risky. 
Yeah. You don't have your gem. Oh, no, you do have a gem. Okay, so there. <laughs> what do you do? For a Klondike bar, one mine explodes. Nyx is so tanky. Palantimos needs to get out. Doppelgangers. Ow, did he take the doppelganger to cooldown talent? He did. He's just bouncing and jiving. One mine, two mine, three mine, red mine, blue mine. Oh. Oh. He does not have a Mantis Isle on cooldown. The Lincolns gets popped and dies. He has buyback. The mines explode. Down goes the Gyrocopter, but it's already looking pretty grim for Vegas Squadron. The buyback on the Phantom Lancer. He's going directly for immersion. He goes suppers and survives. Now it's all up to the DK who gets the Mega Creeps. The entire armory is disposed to finish him off, but it's too late. The Megas have been claimed. And now BZZ narrowly dodges a mine, I mean, an arrow. Probably a mine as well. It's no mana, but an exceptional amount of armor, so this... <laughs> oh, Hookshot connects! And the Cog pushback on top of the Chaotic Offering. Batrider has just been taking the brunt of all of this outside the base initiation, but it's up to him to make space. All three homing missile mines. You gotta go. Gotta go. Take the base. You're going. You got the gem. You see everything. There's no minefield signs. Oh, we're going. The, the minefield sign is actually here. But they're not going to the mid lane. DK walks tantalizingly close, but he doesn't actually breach it. You need a flame break to bounce them into it, but it's not going to happen because Batrider's dead. It's the final countdown. Song comes out, but the Marana dies. No buyback. Palantine was attempting to damage the spell immune gyrocopter, but it's just too much. It's too much. They try to drag him up. This is not, this is not a spot for his first rodeo. But it may be the last rodeo, it's not. They still have another game. Fireworks go off, and GG is called. Respect. I've got immense respect for Vegas Squadron. It takes Moxie to go for something like that.